hi so sorry yeah there's like a better picture of me also on the screen haha <laughs> but um i just had this up because um i was gonna talk about i went to akon guys there's a bunch of stuff on the floors because i was trying to sell stuff on craigslist and i was trying to take pictures of it but anyway ignore it don't even look don't even look it's a my little pony castle don't even look at it um uh, but anyway i went to akon 2023 i forgot what year it was <laughs> And this is what I looked like. I was trying to dress up as Iori from Idolmaster, but like this is just kind of a random outfit. But anyway, but like I have the bunny. Like, look at the bunny. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I clipped the mic and like look at my beautiful face. Who is that? That's what you're all thinking. Hold on, let me close this app. Um, because I don't care. <laughs> when was it ever not full? Is my question. But okay. So, I went to Akon. I'm so all over the place. That's so funny. I'm having, like, a hard time. Okay. I'm sorry. My mind is everywhere at once. I can't keep living like this. But anyway, um, antidepressants, they're helping me a lot. But not enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you're gonna have to put in a little bit more. Please. So, I went to Akon. Because there was a Automaster fan meetup on Sunday... And I was like, OMG, I'm trying to see who's going to be there. I'm trying to see the four people that show up. Um, and yeah, there was a total of six people, including me. So like, LOL. That's what I thought was going to happen, but it was still funny. Oh. So anyway, but also like my two friends were there, so it was fine. I had fun, but like the actual organized convention aspects were like kind of garbage. Sorry, Akon. Um, I don't know. It's like anime culture, like general anime culture. Oh, sorry. Anyway, but general anime culture has changed so drastically since I first like got into anime that I'm like, I don't even know what's going on anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I'm not trying to say like I'm from a different generation because I'm not really. I started getting into anime in like 2000. 10 or something. I don't know, 2009, 2010. Somewhere in there. I was like 7 or 8 or something. <laughs> so it was early on. Okay. Um, <coughs> help. Help me. Um, so it was certainly different then. It was not like it was super different. It wasn't really that long ago, but um, I would describe the current general like anime thing as very homogenous like everybody there's like three popular shows and like that's kind of all that's going on because <laughs> like at this at akon here's what i saw okay the artist alley first of all there was 117 artists there it felt like there was like four <laughs> i don't know why it felt like there was like nobody there um i think i'm crazy but, whatever. Um, the Artist Alley was so bad if you don't care about Genshin Impact. Because I'm not playing when I say 99% of, of everything that was going on was just Genshin Impact. Everything, everywhere. Because basically, it was like the vast majority of the booths. There was probably like four or five booths that weren't like this um and the rest it was just because there's so many Genshin Impact characters but right they're like released kind of slowly so people will just draw like one when it comes out or whatever so it was just their whole booth was just filled with just like separate pictures of every single Genshin Impact character and it was like everybody's booth looked like this and I was just like I can't do this <laughs> Like, okay, um, I don't know why I made it sound like I was, like, s so extremely upset about it, but I it was, like, before I went, I was, like, okay, I'm only gonna buy something from Artist Alley if, um, if it's from Idolmaster, which I already knew that that meant that I wasn't gonna buy anything. That was, like, my 4D chess move. Um, but I had no idea just how little danger I was in of buying anything at all, because it was just all Genshin Impact, like everywhere all the time i can't uh, like oh uh. um because yeah my friend who was there with me 
she is like i don't know if she's like super up to date with genshin impact but she plays it and she i know there's like a couple of the characters that she really likes at least and she didn't buy a single thing Genshin Impact because she was just like there's just too much I don't know how I could possibly choose like of my favorite character I don't even remember who her favorite character is I'm so sorry but um there was you know like because every booth had almost every single character and she's just like ah I don't know like I don't even know what I would buy I don't know what I would pick so she didn't buy any of that and then yeah as for cosplay mostly Genshin Impact. It was just Genshin Impact World. Um, and then, like, the same, like, three people from Jujutsu Kaisen. And then, uh, like, the people from Chainsaw Man who have, like, the easy outfits. That's just, like, a shirt and pants <laughs> thing. Like, there was a lot of those people. And, like, that was really, yeah. I mean, at the, at the, uh, Idolmaster meetup, there were six people there total. Um, and three other people besides me were dressed up, so someone was dressed up as Shiki, uh, the guy, Shiki, um, someone was dressed up as a Selen, and somebody was dressed up as Ryamu, obviously, and then there was me, I was dressed up as Iori. But, like, LOL, guys, Genshin Impact, I didn't really realize that. That it was still, like, popping off that hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's popular, but I didn't know it was, like... We needed to be being this crazy. Am I wrong? Like, what's going on? But yeah, it's very bizarre because, you know, like, I've liked anime for a long time. And it's, like, kind of bizarre to watch it become, like, more normal, I guess. Because, like, when I liked it, obviously, it was still very, like, people made fun of you about it. Um, and most people, like, vast majority of people did not watch anime. Um, and, yeah, like, in middle school, people made fun of me because I watched anime. It was weird in middle school because, like, there was things that people could have been bullying me about that, like, would have made more sense. But then they, like, chose to not do those and, like, pick other ones. And I would just be like, what? Okay. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, now the stuff that I know of, like, literally nobody else even knows what that is at all. And it's like, what is happening? Am I crazy? Like, what is going on? Obviously, I like Idolmaster, which is, like, bizarrely not popular at all here. Sorry, I just have my camera roll open because I was going to talk about my drawings because I was going to get into Artist Alley stuff. Some of these drawings are pretty old. Okay, so, like, don't be judging these ones that are back up here. <laughs> um... We do have a Genshin Impact, okay? Because I felt like I, I should draw a Genshin Impact person um, so that I had that option. But then I, like, I only really care about, like, two of them and, and, and like, not that much. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Idol Master should be popular in America. I don't know why it isn't. It's, like, not at all. Um, but, like, Ensemble Stars... Love Live and etc. I don't. I can't come up with any other ones. Are popular and I don't. I don't know why I don't matter. Isn't in that group with them. But yeah. Um. Akon. What was that? Okay. Anyway. Um. They had the like gaming room, which is where I spent most of my time. Um. Because there was like nothing else going on except for Genshin Impact World. So. Lol. And usually. I, I quite liked their gaming room because usually at conventions, what always happens is they have the gaming room, but then like all the good games are already taken. So you have to pick one of the ones that nobody wants to play. And there's usually only like one. So like one time, I believe it was Anime North Texas in 2018, which was like a terrible convention. It was so bad. Um, but anyway, they had one PlayStation that nobody wanted to go on and it had uh, NBA Jam on it. So I just played NBA Jam the whole time. Um, and what was that? IkiCon, which was put on by the same people who did Anime North Texas, so I shouldn't have gone to that because, like, it was also bad. <laughs> it was worse than Anime North Texas. Um, and I ended up playing, weirdly, Dance Dance Revolution on the PlayStation 2. For some reason, nobody was playing that. I don't know, but anyway, I played that with my brother for like a long time and we were really bad, but anyway. But at this 
at, at Akon this year, they had this just giant room full of, like, old games. Like, old, old games, right? And so not a lot of people wanted to play them because they, they weren't even, like, good. <laughs> they weren't even, like, good ones, you know? Um, like, me, the first one that we played... Uh, was a Star Wars Pod Racer for the Sega Dreamcast, which I have never played on a Dreamcast. I had played on a Sega Saturn before. I had a Sega Saturn briefly. I don't even remember what game I had on there, but anyway, I think I had Sakura Tyson. I don't know why I was such a cool, like, six-year-old, but I had Sakura Tyson on a Sega Saturn when I was a child. Um, I don't remember any of it, but Sakura Tyson kind of slays, if I remember correctly. Which I probably don't, because I don't remember it at all. Um, but I remember it slaying. Like, it's a bunch of robot. It's like girls who drive robots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and don't they, like, live in, like, a theater or something? I don't have, I don't remember. <laughs> I need to go Google right now. What is the story of Sakura Tyson? I was drawing my Bochi the Rock thing. Sakura Tyson. Um... Am I thinking it? It was on the Sega Saturn, I swear to God! What is the vague. Like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn. Okay, like, what is the. Um. Wait, no, it's not for the Sega Saturn? I'm thinking of something else. Oh, well, it does say Sega Saturn. I swear to God, it was on the Sega Saturn. Like, what was the story? They do, they live in a... Am I crazy? They do live in a theater, don't they? I don't remember. Wait, actually, no, it wasn't this game. I'm... <laughs> I went on a phone. I'm like, this wasn't even what I was thinking of. Um, anyway... Um, but I had never played on a Dreamcast. I had no idea how bad <laughs> games on the Dreamcast look. I mean, I've only played that one game, that Star Wars Pod Racer, and it looked awful. I couldn't even tell what was going on. Like, why did they ha try to have words? I couldn't read them. I was like, oh my gosh, this is how people used to live. This is so sad. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Um, and then we played, like, the same game, but on the Nintendo 64. And why did it look way better? Shouldn't the Nintendo 64 look worse? Shouldn't it look worse? I don't know. Anyway. Um, but it was still bad. That game was, like, kind of awful. Um, yeah. But, like, in kind of a charming way, you know, if you're only gonna play it, like, once, it's kind of charming. But, like, I would never do that again. <laughs> um, I don't even remember what else they had. They had this, like, weird... I'm gonna have to look this one up, too. Because it was called, like, uh... What was it called? For the... Oh. Uh, yeah. For the Sega Genesis. Now I am quite familiar with the Sega Genesis. Because my grandma had one. She still does. And like, the story was so funny. The story, it was like... It was like, um... You need to stop this cult from summoning a demon. And then it was like, your enemy, Henry. And I was like... <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just Henry, <laughs> like, okay, slay, but yeah, it was like impossible to tell what was going on, it was really funny, um, but like, look at how slay this picture is, that was not at all representative of how good the game was, um, I died like immediately because like, there was a, there was like a car? And, like, people started, like, shooting at me from the car. And I started trying to beat up the car because all I knew how to do was beat people up. That was all you do in the game is, you know, just beat people up. So when the car's coming, I'm trying to beat up the car. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to run away from the car. <laughs> but um, uh, what I learned about old games here was that they just, like, they just start. Like, they don't explain anything. Because <laughs> we did this one, which this one actually does explain stuff. But you have to, like, wait around on the title screen, and we didn't do that at first. We did it after we died. Um, but yeah, at first we didn't know that we were supposed to do that, so. Then we played, like, Super Mario Brothers, like, the one that's, like, the arcade one where you jump 
in the sewer and there's the turtles. They don't explain how to play that. Like, you just start. We were so confused. <laughs> um, lol. But, uh, yeah. So, basically what we did was play some games that we were confused about what was going on. And then we went to the dealer's hall and saw a bunch of Genshin Impact. And it was like, I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. So anyway, now that we've been on this page for a long, 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 long time, we can talk about my art-related things. Yay! Because, um, Anime Frontier is, what is it? I don't remember where it is, but it's in Dallas somewhere, uh, in December, and uh, they just opened up their Artist Alley applications, and I was gonna see if my friend wanted to share a table with me because I want to do an anime convention because whenever I do the like you know the anime convention <laughs> we do have an anime convention at my at my university that's how that's how desperate and sad the people at my school are <laughs> but um yeah the there's not a lot of it's it's very Genshin Impact <laughs> Chainsaw Man uh, Jujutsu Kaisen over there, if you know what I'm trying to say. I'm saying it's the only three things that's very homogenous. That's all that's going on. So I I want to do an anime convention so I can see what of my other stuff that people might want. So anyway, here's some stuff that I have been working on. Some of this is quite old. Like, I haven't been drawing too much. Sorry. Um, I did this one. I did a little Oshinoko. Uh, Oshinoko is really popping off lately, but I kind of feel like nobody actually watched the show. Because it's like, I'm just kind of, it's really funny. She's really small up here and she doesn't, <laughs> she looks like way worse than the other people. That's so funny. Okay. But like, I feel like nobody actually watched this show. I feel like they just kind of saw pictures of like this girl and like heard the theme song. Because I'm like, what? I've never heard anybody talk about anything other than the first episode. <laughs> um, which this show, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of pissing me off a little bit. But like, barely. I just feel like it's, maybe it's starting to go in a direction of, like, extremely slow, like, development. And I don't, I'm not really looking forward to that too much. But that's just my guess. There's only eight episodes uh, as of now, and I haven't read the book. So, anyway. But it kind of pisses me off that the main guy and the main girl, right? Well, I don't even know if we can call her the main girl. She's really not in the show that much. <laughs> uh, sex has been the workplace, me thinks. Um, <laughs> but it makes me mad that both of them are, like, reincarnated. Why did I say it like that? Um, and, like, they both know that they're reincarnated. But, like, why does he... Why does the guy never relay any information to his sister? Like, they should be being on the same page. But he's over here doing all of this stuff and all of this plotting and she's just there. It's like, why don't you tell her that you're doing these things? Like, she could be helping you. You both, like, are in the same bizarre situation. I don't know why you're not telling her things. I don't know. It's, like, kind of pissing me off that because <laughs> I just realized, I was like, why is he always doing stuff? And then they just cut back to her and she's just chilling. Like, she's just there. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, this one I did, like, really quick, um, because it's Pride Month, and Yukiho is the, is the winner of the number one gay person in Idolmaster, uh, contest that I held in my brain. <laughs> um, this one I did, um, the Women in Animation, like, club? I don't know what to call it. Organization? that's based at my university. Um, I participated in some of their events and so they have like a magazine thingy and this month well, the thing was uh, Pride Month and Pokemon so I did Sabrina and it's like the asexual colors because she's kind of already those colors and you know she's all dead inside just like me relatable me thinks she was always like so by far my favorite character in pokemon like i loved her so much i remember that i would like name myself sabrina on like 
Roblox. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of any like other things. But yeah, and like look at how messy my lines are. L O L. Because I just draw. I don't do line art because I don't want to do all that. Like I think about it and then I'm like, ah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Um, and then I cropped it to like five by seven so I could print it out myself because they wanted some bizarre dimension for the magazine. And I was like, what? I can't use that for my personal gain if you do that to me. Boo. And then like just like today, like just now in like the past five seconds, I did this pin of Bochi. And I think that my pins are so funny because I look at other people's like pins when they look like this, you know, and they haven't like been cut out and stuff yet. And everybody else is like, they do it so clean. I don't care. Like, um, why does it sound like somebody is like really vacuuming it up? Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> like it's been going on for a while, but I actually think that it's like the air conditioner. Anyway, nobody cares. Story of my life. But yeah, like there's a small circle in here that you can actually, that actually like comes up on the pin. And then the rest, like, you can't see at all. So, like, I don't it doesn't matter if it's all, like, jacked up on the ends. Because, yeah, like, look at how I just give up at the bottom there. Like, it doesn't matter. It's gonna get cut off. <laughs> That's something I'm really bad at is sort of, like, the graphic design aspect of drawing. Where, like, you have to do the background and, like, blend it in with stuff. I'm just doing stuff. This is a commission I did for my friend. Um, Slay. You should commission me, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've just been doing a little bit of stuff, but like, I don't know what's really marketable so much. I thought that this was gonna pop off. It didn't. There's like two people that bought it at the, <laughs> at my um, various like university art events. Only two people bought this. And I was like, and one of them was like somebody that was in one of my classes and I like talked to them briefly. So I felt like they were, maybe pressured to buy something from me because <laughs> like they came up and I was like oh hi blah 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 and then they were like oh well I guess I'll get something then you know so I feel like I, it's really only like one person bought it but anyway <laughs> so I think you know I thought that maybe that was gonna pop off a little bit but didn't this I didn't even bother printing out because I was like I don't care I haven't seen this printed yet look at how goofy his hair is <laughs> How did I make it look like a drawing was wearing a wig? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Lane, I think Lane might pop off. Look at that. Like, what was I on that day? <laughs> um, this one might pop off as per usual. This was a sleigh. I feel like sometimes, I feel like actually all of my stuff is kind of equally, like it's on an equal level. It's just like sometimes things <laughs> come together better than other times. Sad. Okay, none of the Automaster stuff, nobody cares. This, actually, I've had quite a bit of success, like, relatively, <laughs> on my Tokyo Mew Mew stuff at, at a college, so, yeah. We'll have to bring this one. I like this one a lot. I don't- this one's okay. This one's better, though. Um, they, like, fit together, though, as you can see. It's like, they have the same background, but flipped, so, yeah. Um, this one, I always think this one is going to pop off because it's so good. I don't know, like, what was in the water on this day and why I was, like, doing so well. But, like, nobody has bought this from me. <laughs> I think that nobody, I just think that nobody knows what this is. Like, we have an anime club at my school and it's awful and I hate it there. But I go to it. Um, and, like, one time we had a thing where we, like, ranked anime or something. And it was terrible. It was like the worst meeting that they've had because it was just a bunch of people yelling and I was like, why do y'all care so much? Like, shut up. I can't be here right now. <laughs> but anyway, I like, you could put your own submissions on there so that it wasn't just like the person who made the list, <laughs> all of the ones that they've watched are on there. It's like everybody added some and I added Utena and nobody knew what it was. Like, it was on there, and then we were gonna rank it, and everyone was just like, oh, I don't know what that is. And I was like, what's happening? Like, what? What? And then also I had, F I put Fushigi Yugi on there. Nobody knew what that one was, but, like, at least that made more sense to me. But, like, it still doesn't make any sense to me. One time, like, several, several years ago, uh, anime at Anime Fest, I believe, somebody had a, a Fushigi Yugi print, and it was so good. I bought it, um, but like, 
at that time, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so... Oh, my gem. My gem one isn't on here. Hold on. I gotta go back into the library. That's got like one million pictures in it. Where's gem? Because that's what I'm saying is like, at previous conventions that I've been to in years past, there's been so much more variety. Like, yeah, there was still stuff that was really popular. Um, I think I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to print the- the Sophie Hojo. I know that literally nobody's gonna buy it, but like... Okay, my thing is covering it up, but there's- she's got her, um... Flea shall be out there in the corner. Like, why did I do so good on this? That's what I'm saying, like... <laughs> why does sometimes I just am like, everything aligns and I'm just like... Yeah, like, okay. But that's what I'm saying. At previous conventions, people... There was still stuff that was really popular that, like, everybody had, like, one or two Attack on Titan, like, pictures or whatever. Or whatever else was popular at that time. All I can think about is Attack on Titan. In, like, 2012, like, Attack on Titan was popping off, methinks. Um, which I was so confused when I started hearing about it again, like, a couple years ago. I was like, they're still making that? I thought that was, like, forever ago. I never watched it, so I don't know. Um... But, like, in addition to those, like, couple popular things that they had, they, like, did stuff that they liked. So there was a lot of variety. There wasn't, like, as much variety as I would have liked, I guess. But there was a lot more. Because I remember at Anime Matsuri in, like, 2012 or... Th I think 2013. Um, there was somebody there who had a bunch of Gem and the Hologram stuff. When did I draw Gem? Like, when was this? Is this a long ass time ago or like not that long ago? I don't remember. Uh. Okay, it was before this. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I like I bought some gem stuff from her. I love gem and the hall crimps. How? No way it was this long ago. Am I crazy? What? April 22nd, 2022? Who's lying? I don't remember this. <laughs> Whoa, but like, I kind of went off on this one. Hello, everybody should watch Devin the Holograms right now or I'm gonna fight somebody. But yeah, like, I just, I miss when people had a lot of stuff going on. I feel like it doesn't happen anymore. It's just, it was just Gen Genshin Impact everywhere in the world and I'm like I can't do it I can't do it like l leave me alone oh my gosh did I show everybody when I tried to draw Tom Cruise and it was like really really bad it's like so funny <laughs> oh whoa but like yeah what's going on what's going on I can't be living in Genshin Impact World anymore like l l let me go 